On a calm day on Mount Rushmore, a family suddenly had their lives changed when a mysterious red mist begins killing everyone. The Avengers assemble once more to investigate this mysterious red mist that has begun appearing and try to help with the rescue effort. However, a general turns them turns them away and refuses their help. The Avengers head head into the mist in order to investigate the origin point. Meanwhile, Iron Man and Black Panther attempt to help the CDC, but the US government forces them out, leading to Black Panther attacking a man called Rusk. The team that head to a camp where the infected are being treated. A patient touches, touches one of the generals who, who proceeds to freak out which forces Warbird to calm him down. Another team heads deeper into the mist, with She-Hulk slightly freaking out, whilst Vision deals with the huge loss of loss of light that has begun begun to happen due, due to the Red Mist. The team discover a base connecting the Red Mist to the US government. As the team continue their investigation, Mr. Gyrich talks with Rusk as they head to the Pentagon. The US government also arrests Black Panther and Iron Man who have contacted the Avengers team. The team open a door resulting in several AIM soldiers a a attacking them. During the battle, she hulks containment suit tears and begins to infect her with the red mist. Elsewhere, Ward Warbird heads to a hospital, which has been overrun. As She-Hulk is mysteriously transformed and infected by the red mist, it's revealed that the source of funding for the red mist was done by Rusk, who is revealed to be much more sinister than we've first knew about. Who is Rusk and what and what are his plans for America? Um what I really liked about this book was it was very interesting to see um this outbreak um and how and how the procedures of the outbreak really impacted on the book. Interesting um aspect about the book, if you will, um, was really interesting. Um, I really liked seeing how both the public, how the public responded, how the government responded, and how the Avengers responded to both the government and the, and the actual people. And the fact that the government were actually scared that people would actually look more towards the superheroes as government figures um, than they would um, the actual government themselves. And the government felt like they were kind of inferior to these Avengers. Even before Civil War, we were getting, we were getting this um, divide between government and superhero. It's very, very interesting to see how much of the government were actually a part of the Avengers. Even to the point that um, a guy called Henry Gyrich, um, which you guys need to remember that name because come, come the Captain America Civil War, um, I reckon Henry Gyrich will actually appear in that in that movie. Um, but yeah, Gyrich um, is the li the liaison of um, 
of the Avengers team. And it was very, very interesting, interesting to see how much of the government actually were involved in the Avengers. More so than even the... than even Marvel Civil War itself. Like, the government were really, really involved in in this story and it was really, really interesting to see that. I was also... But I did have a few bits of confusion um, during this um, story. For instance, I was a bit confused as the story itself kind of says that, oh, Iron Man is Secretary of Defense. But then another panel says that he's not the Secretary of Defense. I kind of got a bit confused as to what if Iron Man was or wasn't the Secretary of Defense. Um, and I just got very, very confused as to, um, what the book was trying to do, um, trying to place Iron Man is amongst the chaos of this story. And I also didn't like how the villain was so, um, villain was so capable, and how the villain of the story was very easily defeated um, at the hands of the Avengers team. I don't want to ruin who... Um, I don't want to ruin who um, the villain is, um, but I definitely recommend um, that if you can, people buy this in trade. Because I think these, um, this version of the Avengers stories are having a major impact on what we're seeing in the movies. So I definitely do recommend this story, um, for, for that. Um, all in all guys, I give this story about a 4 out of five. Um, it's one of the most interesting adventure stories that I've ever read. Um, it's very, very classic. Um, it has some great, it has a really interesting story. We don't usually get to see the Avengers, um, you know, have to deal with this sort of thing. Um, but it was really, really fun trying to you know, seeing the Avengers in that kind of way.